everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back up at the shed working on foam insulation finally. There's still a little bit of wind today, but it's nowhere near what it's been the past few days. And I'm taking advantage of that by uh, starting to get some of it up. I wanted to show uh, the process of getting some of this stuff up. I've uh, done the bottom here, uh, the side, you know, up uh, underneath this window area. And I'm holding the foam up to the, the boards using these uh, pieces of strapping, one by three inch boards and uh, putting a little bit of foam between each uh, section to seal it together. So I'm starting by putting just a little, little bit of foam just in the back corner here. It kind of acts like a glue, kind of acts like a sealer to uh, you know, prevent uh, air from blowing between the two. I've got these two pieces, which I was going to put them up in this orientation, like this. I've been able to use up an awful lot of scrap, which makes me very happy because it saves money and uh, makes it so I uh, am able to finish this without having to buy anything more. All right, so I've got this uh, piece of strapping. I've pre-positioned the, the nails in this so that they're in just the right spot. All right, and uh, I'm kind of arbitrarily just sort of eyeballing what level I want to put this at. We'll start here. All right, got one in a little bit. It's a little awkward because I got two pieces here and this, this piece of scrap's falling away. All right, cool. So that one's in, and I'll start pinching this, this guy in now. The stickler in me wants to make sure that this is perfectly level, though it's really not at all necessary. Thanks, Dad, for that. <laughs> That's definitely a, 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 a my father attribute of making things perfect when they don't necessarily need to be. But it makes me feel good. All right, now I'll hold that piece in. Wow, it keeps wanting to fall away. All right. So that is pinched in. All right, there we go. So I've got another one that's going to go, I guess, I'll probably put one here. You know, I might, I might kind of, but the advantage of having them be near these seams is that if you can have them stick up just a little bit, you can use it as kind of a cup to receive the next, uh, the next uh, course of foam. So I'm going to stick this one here. Oh, that a there we go. And before I sink one, I like to start the other one, which again requires me to be overly meticulous, making sure it's perfectly level and it's not at all necessary. I start the second one before I finish the first because once you put the first one in, it might buckle the, uh, the board up. Right, there we go. So, using up scrap, filling in all these gaps. Once I uh, uh, you know, get all these in, I'm going to put some vertical pieces here, which will, are going to be, uh, they'll act as uh, nailers for the exterior boards because the exterior boards just slide right down along here. Shiplap goes down, screw, screw, screw. Next one, screw, screw, screw. Uh, kind of works like that. I think I'm going to put one more here at the bottom because uh, this board went under the window, but it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, overlap this, this bottom here. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's being held down fine. I think I won't. I might be running a little low on nails because Again, with Home Depot being such a, um, I don't know, fill in your own uh, noun there. Uh, in, in regards to returns, I'm, I, you know, I'm really not wanting to overbuy stuff that I know I'm not going to need later. So uh, I might be a little low on nails. You know, we'll see. I really liked it back when Home Depot actually did what they said.